Hey guys, for you chili lovers out there, I'm going to show you an awesome chili paste that you can store in your fridge and have ready for whenever you like to use your chili, whether it's for lunch, breakfast, dinner, whatever. So all you do, grab your favourite chilies. These are bird's eye chilies. These are quite hot. You can use um, half long chilies and half short chilies just to balance out, balance it out, so it's not too pungent or strong. You just grab one chili from the stem and cut the stem off. Put it aside. Next one. Now at this present stage, I have got no chili on my um, fingers because I'm grabbing it from the stem, so I don't have to worry. But please make sure you wash your hands after you've handled chilies because you don't want it in your eyes or in anyone else's face or in anywhere else where it might hurt. Okay, so I've taken the heads off or the stems off. Now, you have to just cut them in half or just roughly chop. Roughly chop them so that when we blitz them, we've got a nice even consistency. Okay, so we've chopped them like that. And we're just gonna put them into our little pizza here that I introduced you in the garlic video. Okay. Again, now we're gonna put a little bit of salt to begin with, just to help emulsify and bring everything together. And we're just gonna put a little bit of the garlic um, mince that I showed you in the other video. Now it's only about a teaspoon. Just follow the recipe. Put that back on. Again, no, no, no oil at this stage. at a time. Now you can add coriander to this, you can add basil, ginger, whatever you like, whatever you prefer. This is just the base, just to give you a bit of an introduction and ID. Now, chili is one of those things like onion, that if you breathe directly over it, <coughs> it's gonna make you cough a little bit. So make sure, like when you're chopping onion or peeling onion, you take a couple of briefs back, and you come back, don't suffocate. Don't, don't, uh, don't hold your breath for too long. But you don't want to choke yourself either. Okay, so a bit of oil in there. And we're just gonna finish the blitzing process one more time. Open it up. Make sure the walls of the blender are all inside so it's all nice and consistent. Now, don't worry, it's not going to turn on on me and make a mess. Just go down, push it down a little more. Now, like I said, if you're too sensitive to chilli or you like it in small doses, add some capsicum in there, add some banana chilies, just so it's a little bit more mild. Add as little or as much as you like. In small doses, it's better than larger doses because you don't want to cause too much digestive discomfort. Okay guys, there's my chilli paste ready to go for those um, hard people out there. Put it in the fridge and use it when you need it. Take care.